Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you another motion template that you can use on your Final Cut Pro and you can use them on travel vlogs or just normal everyday videos and it comes with a variety of options. You can use curves, straight lines and customized routes. But before the start of today's video, please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you very much and there's a new icon that you can donate any amount that you like on the main page of my channel. Thank you very much. As usual, the link to download this motion template is in the description box and you can download it for free in the Google Drive. But if you want to make a contribution, you can also click the PayPal link and just you know donate any amount that you like. And let's move on to how can you install this plugin. So this is the main folder and just copy this folder and go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Templates and just paste it under the Titles folder. And restart the Final Cut Pro, go to the Titles tab and find LC Travel and you can find the Travel Template over here. And how do you apply them is pretty simple as well. So this is the video that I've already selected and put in the timeline. And I'm just gonna drag this travel template and put on top of this video, just like this. So you go to the start of these titles and hit play. So this is kind of the default one. So if you want to have this kind of effect with a globe, just go to the titles inspector and go to the map options the first pop-up and it's a circle so this one is like a mini globe kind of a thing obviously you can change the scale of the entire globe by increasing the slice scale like this or decrease like this if not you can revert back to the original by resetting the parameter so obviously you can change the border thickness so if you want to make a clearer one you can increase the border like this not you can decrease like this so without further ado let's you know change the background of this circle so you have to go to the first drop zone and click on this one so this is the road map that i have and obviously you can change to other things and go to the actual map over here and click on apply clips after that this thing will be changed to sort of like a globe, like a mini globe. For the sake of illustration, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit like this. And obviously you can change the rotation and scale and as well as the position X and Y position of this actual map. Obviously you can always rotate the map like this if you want to. So obviously you can create a keyframe for rotation at the start of the video here and at the middle you can change to the actual position that you want for example this is the actual one and at the end let's rotate more like this and once you hit play you can see that the map is rotating the globe is rotating as well it's kind of cool after that you can obviously change the line now it's white color you can change it to black color Next up, you can obviously change the place. For example, this place A, you can change to New York. And once it ends with a place B, you can double click on place B and say change it to Singapore. And obviously you can change the position of the entire text, you know, by shifting the text over here or over here or over here, anywhere you want. As you see now, it's actually my face. If you don't want to have a face over here, or you want to have a clip, you can always click on this selecting tool, this drop zone, and go to your media pool. For example, this is the clip that I want, and I can hit apply clip. And once you hit play, yep, this is showing with something else, and you can obviously change the drop zone icon position, I mean the actual footage position like this so yeah this is moving picture kind of cool as well right so obviously if you don't want to have a customized you know, pop-up you can always change it over here and you can make it say a bus a car or an airplane and even with this option you can also change it as well you just double click over here say this is the plane so this is actually an emoji icon so you can change it to text 
say this is air you can change it to air or land or sea if you want to and obviously you can change rotation as well if you need it alternatively you can press ctrl command and spacebar and select your own emoji for example a smiley face and obviously you need to change your rotation as well so since now I've already changed to a um, smiley face, now the icon will be a smiley face. Pretty customizable, right? On the other hand, if you don't want this to be a circular one, something like a globe, if you don't want to have this option, you can obviously come here with the pop-up, the first one, and change the slice. And this is the uh, rectangular one. And obviously everything is the same with the pop-up size, customizable and changing the position up or down left or right uh, yep that's pretty customizable as well and obviously you can change the curved road to a straight road like this one or change to a customized road like this one so for simplicity and for the sake of time i'm just gonna use the customized one and i'm gonna use a screenshot of a singaporean map apply clip as usual like this you can change the position you want over here the map position zoom in or rotate a bit like this yep after that remember to change the color of lines because it's kind of too white to be seen over here and see you, you can see that this line is curving everywhere and if you want to change according to the actual roads you can go to the position settings over here and you can change the points so this is the first point you can change uh, the point of this position like this so this x and y axis it might take a little time for you to get adjusted to how to set this up but eventually is not as difficult as you imagine so with a little bit of time you can get what is shown in the demonstration video an actual route to the destination that you needed and obviously you can change the place names and that's about it that's all i wanted to show you this time and please remember again to subscribe to this channel and like this video ask me if you have any burning questions in the comment section if not see you next time bye bye